kids off at school and I keep bringing my glasses in the house by accident I want to keep them in the car I'm about to do my hair um I have an appointment schedule I'm gonna put this on till I find my uh stuff so I get my stuff together um I don't think I'm gonna find my glue though but I have an appointment to look at another apartment building um and I want to have my hair done before I do it. And I'm going to just say, because I know it, it be a lot of talk about bonnets or no bonnets, right? And I'm, I feel like it ain't nobody's business. I'm going to throw a bonnet on and do what I got to do if need be. I feel like I'm that person that's not going to tolerate no disrespect. That's not going to tolerate the slightest of anything from nobody. Like, as soon as I get a little bit of anything, you're cut the fuck off. And a lot of people that is close to me has always been like oh i wish i could be like tony i wish i could be like tony and her mom or whatever like people wish they had what i have and what i have is like, i don't give a fuck so i do feel like there's some places where you know you might not want to have a bonnet on because the ball is in somebody else's court and people will judge you they'll perceive you the way that they want to you know to me it's like I got business to handle. I've been in a place before where I've been depressed and I ain't did nothing for days, for weeks. I sat in the bed with the cover over my head, whatever. So if I feel like, you know, now is, now is the time and I'm motivated, but I don't want to do my hair, I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to throw a bonnet on and I'm going to keep it moving. I usually don't have hats. My bonnets are always convenient because I use it more often. So they're like in the bathroom on the back of the door, in my room on the back of the door, in my bed somewhere because I wear them to sleep. I make bonnets. So they're everywhere. They're easier to grab. And I just feel like don't worry about little shit. Don't let little shit stop you. For me, it's like, are you going to continue to be depressed? Or are you going to take that little bit of something that you have Put a bonnet on and get yourself about this state of mind. Because then comes, I think I want to get my hair done. I think I want to get my lashes done. I think I want to get my nails done. I think I want to, you know, all that little bit of something that you do is helping bring you out of that state and where you at. And that's why I said don't judge nobody because you never know. Maybe they is trying to get that damn bonnet off. You feel me? You never know. So I just feel like, why is this even a fucking topic? I feel like bonnet, bonnets are a part of um, the black community's culture. We wear bonnets. We wear do-rags. It is what it is. If nobody's paying for what, you're, what you got on, they shouldn't have an opinion or anything on what you have on. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it's inappropriate. Doctors wear bonnets. Um, I don't know exactly if they call it bonnets, but I made them for nurses before. Um, I actually made in bulk. She purchased in bulk. Um, bonnets that I made for her to wear when she goes to work. So, I mean, doctors wear bonnets, nurses wear bonnets, um, and it's not for religious purposes. It, it might be PPE, but that's a way of life. You feel me? So you decide what's a way of life for you. And so what I'm saying is every culture has their own way of life. That's what a culture is. I had like, I'm a, I'm a chop it up a little bit because I have so many different avenues, but I'm not about to go into all of that. Ain't your mama or what is it, Mamie? They were public figures. We know Aunt your mama, right? Black women that were public figures. And they wore bonnets to symbolize the black woman's place in America, right? So our ancestors wore bonnets. They wore them indoors, they wore them outdoors. Anything that happened from way back with our ancestors up until today, that is a part of our culture. I mean, that was their reason for wearing it. Um, and it was tied to the relationship with their hair. So us wearing a bonnet today, I mean, it's definitely a statement for a black woman in America. It's definitely a statement. When you go somewhere, people probably looking at us like we crazy, but why do we do it to each other? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe some people didn't know that, but now that you know that, I'm not trying to change nobody's mind, 
but keep an open mind do your research on your history on your culture it didn't come from nowhere you know what i'm saying and i do feel like like i said it's certain places like you wouldn't want to wear a bonnet it's a part of our culture it's a way of life and stop letting people take that away from you stop letting people um define your culture they don't live the life you live they don't know what it takes to be you i, I feel like in any other culture they could wet their hair ponytail it wet their hair leave it down if i wet this it's not even gonna saturate the water is gonna roll right off <laughs> that's just the type of hair that i have push come to shove and you got things to do it's a way of life it's a part of your culture put a bonnet on and keep it moving they didn't have nothing to say when our ancestors was in the fields with bonnets on. They was at work with bonnets on. That's a part of our culture. That's a part of our history. So stop letting people decide what's a part of our culture, what's acceptable, and what's not. You know, I and that's just how I feel about it. And we don't have to go that deep into it. But to me, it's just like it's black on black hatred. And that's how I feel. You can feel how you want to feel. And I'm not trying to change nobody's mind. But just think about it. About it. And like I said, I agree. It shouldn't be worn other places, but not because not because it's inappropriate, but because sometimes the ball is in their court and people are judgmental. And that's just what it is. So, I mean, it's just like crops. Just because we don't like it don't mean we look down on people for having crops on. They cost just as much as any other shoe do. Sometimes it's therapeutic. Because um, I understand there are some things that people just don't like. When you see it, you just like, ugh, why would you leave the house with that? Why would you buy that? Why do you have that on? Like, some things just irk people. I understand that. So, um, and, and I feel I feel like that is equivalent to somebody that has Crocs on. Some people just cannot stand Crocs. But that doesn't mean that, you know, it should be unacceptable to wear. It, it's just something that you don't like. And when you see it, you're just like, why? Um... Cause you don't like it but it's, it shouldn't be anything to frown upon um on a plane i mean you wear a bonnet to sleep right plane like i said also doctors and nurses wear bonnets a plane is not a safe spot anymore there's covid going on there's other germs that we think about now because of covid i, I do anyway i'd be like damn what else is out there because i really wasn't you know looking at it like this of course, I, I just have a problem. I'm always washing my hands and stuff like that. I'm always cleaning up and wiping stuff down, always. But it was like when COVID came, it was like, I knew it. I knew I was doing all this for a reason. So I'm just like, what else is out there? So, I mean, a, a plane is not really a safe spot anymore. So to protect your hair from germs and things like that, to protect your hair because you might fall asleep on a plane and you're going to keep doing this and you don't want to rip a track or something, you know what I'm saying? Like... Not, not to be so dramatic, but just to protect your hair, why not wear a bonnet on a plane? Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe you could wait till you actually sit down and put it on. But generally, when we when we getting ready to get on the plane, we already ready to go because you don't know what you what you're gonna go through. There, there's TSA. You might have to reshuffle your luggage, you know what I'm saying? And at that point, you might accidentally put something in there, forget to take something out, like because something else is going on. You have to be prepared. When you go to an a airport, everything about getting there is preparation. Have your shit on and ready to go. Why does what anybody else got going on bother you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't get it. I don't even understand why it, it ever was a topic. I'm real cutthroat. I'm a loner. So that has really built my extremities. Like, so who gives a fuck what somebody got to say? Because I do everything on my own. I am self-made. I don't know if the, all this is making sense to nobody. But it makes sense to me. And so I'm just trying to throw it out there to get your minds, to pick your brain, to get you to thinking, to get you to researching, whatever. But when you go through shit like that in life where nobody's helping you and, and you really go through that, it's like, oh, I done got so far and ain't nobody helped me. I, I literally did all this on my own. Just think about that portion. If you've done everything in life by yourself and you have been successful, does anybody's opinion matter to you? Do you give a fuck about what anybody else thinks? You don't, right? So if a way of life for you is throwing a bonnet on to go get some shit mailed out, to go sign some papers, to do something, to mail papers, I mean, whatever you have to do, 
to go to the grocery store real quick, whatever. It's a way of life. It's you doing something real quick to get you to the next point in life. You know what I'm saying? If I know I need Folgers in the morning to wake up, to set the tone of the day, to make sure the rest of my day is great. And if I don't have Folgers, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be able to get out of bed. If I don't smell it, it ain't gonna wake me up. I need the aroma for Folgers. So if I gotta go to the store real quick and my hair looking like this and I can't find a hat, sometimes I do use a sweatshirt and put the hat on whatever, but if I ain't got that going on right now, and this is right there and I need to I need to leave now because the store closes in three minutes and I just didn't know because shit the day is busy even if the day wasn't busy I don't care what nobody else got to say I need to go get my Folgers or we're gonna have a bad day tomorrow and this is the way that I have been able to be successful I need my Folgers I don't give a fuck what you got to say about my bonnet my my task right now is to go get that Folgers you can look how you want to look you can whisper what you want to whisper However you feel about me wearing my bonnet is none of my business. I'm not gonna make how you feel about me wearing my bonnet any of my business. That's something that you gotta answer to one day. Cause you judging me for what? And I feel pretty successful. Like, I, I honestly, I really don't care. I really don't think about what other people think. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've been able to vlog so well. Like, I freaking love vlogging um if you're one of those people you need to figure out what it is like what makes you feel like oh i can't be seen with a bonnet on is it because of what other people say what other people think or is it something that you genuinely feel like i know i know i ain't got no business having this bonnet on like but figure out why you feel that way but i genuinely don't care i'm not looking at other people when i go out because why you know why you're why you're out here shopping or doing whatever you're doing is none of my business if you in my personal space you ain't got no mask on. Stuff like that is my business. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to comment on stuff like that. I'm going to look at you when you get in too close. You feel me? I'm going to look around to be um, alert on my surroundings. Yeah, but other than that, I'm not in no store looking at what nobody else got on. I'm not looking at, damn, you got a hole in your shoe. You got a hole in your pants. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at none of that. Your stained up ass jacket. Like, I'm not paying attention to what nobody else is doing. I don't give a fuck what nobody else is doing. I don't give a fuck who's looking at me. I'm not gonna make what you're doing any of my business. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. And I feel like that also comes with growth um, and being through shit in life. Like, you pick and choose your battles. Um, you're more careful with your words, how you come off, you know, like, I don't know, it's, and I'm trying to be more relaxed cause I be too serious. And I know when I go places, I don't look up enough. Like sometimes, um, I might look at a person from here and down because I'm not really looking up. I'm just focused on what I need to do. So if somebody was to come snatch my purse, which they ain't gonna do, cause I, I don't know why, but I'll be thinking about that. I'll be like, I wish a motherfucker would. So I low key be ready for a motherfucker to come snatch my purse. But <laughs> I'm just saying like, as an example, if somebody was to come snatch my purse and the, the cops or somebody was like, well, what did he look like? What was his face like? You know, facial hair, hair on his head, what color, what color was his eyes. Like, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know because I don't even look at people. I, I really be so focused to on doing what I'm doing. And that's it. I'm really trying to become more relaxed. Trying to, like, look at people when I'm walking past them and at least smile and nod. Like, you know, or, hey, good morning or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm also trying to stop saying good morning and find other things to say. Um, and I'm trying to find other things to say other than fine and good when people say, how are you? But, um, those are just like little personal things. I always give myself little personal things to work on to better myself. I feel like to better myself. Um, those are things that I feel like will better me. Um, and it challenges your brain and it gives you something to work towards. I feel like, have you ever played the game Sims? And if you haven't, Google it really quick, but you create your own world, you create your family, you create your home, but there's a cheat code and it gives you the money. So I feel like with um, cheating, when you reach where you want to be, it's boring, you know? So not that I've reached where I wanna be, but I've reached where I am for the moment and now I have to wait. Sometimes you have to wait it out. Sometimes you have to be still. And in that moment, there's nothing else to do. So it can get kind of boring. So that's why I read a lot. Um, and I'm always on YouTube trying to find something to learn. And now I've occupied my time with vlogging. 
Um, but I always give myself little things to work on. Um, and also as a parent, like I'm trying to be slow to, why did you do this? <laughs> because my kids, I think I showed y'all like strawberries in the kitchen on the floor with picks in them, like. Ugh, peanut butter all over the kitchen stuff like that and it's like why why is this here like why didn't you tell me it was here why didn't you clean it up if you couldn't clean it up why you didn't tell me so i could help you clean it up or so that i could just clean it up like it, it just be so much and i'll be trying to tell myself like relax stop asking so many questions don't even get mad about it let it go you either gonna take something away from them or don't even do the nagging i'm trying to remove the nagging basically um and just get it done because it puts a stress on me for that for that moment in time my blood pressure is spiked and i don't I, it probably is i was gonna say i don't mean that literally but it's i'm hot at the moment i'm like i just cleaned this entire kitchen i spent the whole day like i be telling y'all when i drop them off i get right to business and i don't stop until like five o'clock in the morning so we wake up at seven o'clock in the morning they at school at 8.15 is when I drop Keytrail off. Mila goes at 8 o'clock, Keytrail at 8.15. Um, I have to constantly be on them to get ready because they will lay down and fall back to sleep and be late. The school will be calling me. And so if I've spent my entire day dedicated to cleaning my kitchen and by 5 o'clock you, you done came in here and there's peanut butter everywhere, especially peanut butter. And I just, I feel like that's so disrespectful. And like I said, it's so hard because I don't take the slightest amount of disrespect from nobody. If I feel like you trying to be on the slick slide with it, like, you know, you know how somebody might say something smart, but they might say it under their breath. But then when you say something, they might be like, I'm just playing or something like, like, but they really not playing. Or, you know, back in the day, like when I was in school, it usually be the Mexicans and I am part Mexican, so I'm not being racist, but they would be like, I don't know. Your lipstick ugly. I'm just playing. <laughs> just like that. And it's like, they wasn't playing. But you know, if I feel the slightest bit of anything like that, like, nah, bitch, you weren't playing. You cut the fuck off. I don't play them games. I do not play them games. But these are my kids. I can't cut them off. I can't kick them out. Like, so I really be needing to like, well, I really want for myself to be able to just take a deep breath and sort the situation because regardless the situation has to be sorted and that's the point um i think a better way to do it is just to eliminate everything in between because that creates a distance between you and your kids or a barrier or somebody's walking on eggshells or you know just i just want to keep things copacetic so anyway i have these little things myself that I work on throughout seasons, I guess. Bonnet talk, personal lifestyle talk. Uh, so like wheeling it back in, um, when you have things that you focus on in your personal life, um, it's really hard to care about what somebody else thinks. It's really hard to let somebody else set your tone and tell you what is appropriate and what is inappropriate and especially when you tend to lead a pretty good life um i don't do anything crazy i was gonna say drastic i don't do anything like i don't do anything i take care of my kids i go to school and i take care of my house like um i don't do anything i'll work from time to time um i'm a good person you know what i'm saying so if I have a bonnet on and you're judging me, that's your business. I have so many other things going on and where I'm trying to be in life and working on myself personally that somebody else's opinion, I'm not gonna let it define me. I could care less what you think. I forgot to finish saying like when I'm vlogging, it's, it's fun too, cause I don't care where I got my camera. I don't care if somebody sees me talking to my camera, um, talking to y'all, cause eventually it's gonna get put out. And I really be like, you know, people do be judging. People do be uh, assuming like, oh, she's talking to her phone or whatever. But really, I could have ear pods on. I could have one-on-one -on -one ear and you don't see it on this side. Or, um, I don't know, I could be on my car and I could be FaceTiming. Like, you don't know what I'm doing. Get out my business. You feel me? You too close if you realize I'm talking to myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I just really don't care. 
but it comes from focusing on myself being confident and just building that building that wall between me and the next person me and the hater me and the person that's too damn close to me like it's just been like i feel like it's the growth in me like i just been through so much nobody can tell me about me i'm sure of me you know what i'm saying like i'm sure that if i wore a bonnet to the store it was the best decision for that moment i'm sure if i wore a bonnet to my daughter's school it was it was the best decision for me at that moment um and it's so much other stuff like i don't even want to get into but like obviously i go to therapy sometimes i don't feel well sometimes my body won't allow me to do what i want so badly to do so if I want to do my hair, if I want to get up and go get my hair done, like, I don't have, you know, con I don't have full control of my body. It's, I don't like talking about it because it's just, oh, it sucks to know that you're getting older. Some of these things are because I'm getting older. Some of these things are because of the car accident. Um, and some of the things are both of them working together. Um, but it just sucks to really think like, damn, this can happen to anybody. Anybody can get in a car accident and suffer these things and you hear about it all the time But when it hits you or when it hits close to home it, it hits you differently. It's like damn. I'm not invisible You know things really can happen to me and when you figure that out when I figured that out Um It made me really sad. I wasn't like depressed or nothing, but it just really made me think about life and what I need to be focusing on and what I need to be appreciating. Um, so, gotta have the moments with yourself. Really, really figuring out who you are, why you do the things you do, does it make sense? Cause sometimes we just get so used to doing things the way we've been doing them because we've been doing it for so long. Because we've been, that's how we seen our moms and grandmas or whoever do it, but does that mean that's the right way of life? You know, some people cuss at their kids. Oh my goodness, I hate when people be like, fuck them kids. Like the TikToks or uh, the reels, like I absolutely hate those when they be like, um, shit, you got a babysitter, babysitter tonight? Girl, fuck them kids. I absolutely hate those. But anyway, you probably do it because that's what your mama did to you. But does that make it right? Is that the right way of life? So, I mean, just take a look at yourself and really figure out, ask yourself the simplest shit. What do you put in your dishwater? Why do you put that in your dishwater? Look it up and see if it's safe. I mean, I've never seen nobody use Dawn to wash their vegetables, but I do. <laughs> but I really had to look like, I've been doing this for so long. I don't know where I got it from, but let me see, is this shit, is it even toxic? Is it toxic? But that's just an example of what you want to do to kind of dig deeper within your roots, within your own roots. Um, because roots are trinkled down and we're creating families or we already have families or we wanna create families in the future. And the things that, the things that are passed down to you, you're gonna be passing down. So just get yourself together, focus on you, look at the things that you wanna change and just work on them as time goes by. Um, you know, we mess up, we go back. I, I yelled at Keetra yesterday. He was um, climbing in the closet. He took all the clothes off the shelf that was folded. He took all the clothes off the hangers that were hung up. And he moved all that shit and threw it on, on a pile on the floor so that he can climb up, so that he could climb up on the shelf and jump off. And I yelled at him, why would you do that? You know, these are clean clothes. I just washed these clothes. These clothes are all over the floor. This room is nasty now, you know. And then it's also how you handle it after that. For me, it wasn't for him, but it definitely helps. Um, but for me, you know, we had to talk about it again, even though we talked about it the whole way from um, school to home. We talked about it again about how, you know, I don't have full control over my body and I feel like it's disrespectful and I don't like it when I spend all day cleaning up or something like that and then you come and undo what I did, stuff like that. And, you know, we're trying to get a house and if I could spend less time doing stuff like this and repeating folding clothes and hanging clothes up when I already did that, then I could spend more time trying to get us this house, trying to, you know, be successful in the business or whatever. We can have more time to do things that we like to do versus me redoing what you just undid, stuff like that. Um, so we had enough talk like that and then we sat down and we watched TikTok on TV. They like to do that. So that was a way to kind of break the mold so he's not, so he's not feeling like he has to walk on eggshells because I yelled at him now. 
It's 9.50. Um, I do wanna do my hair. I have a home, an apartment. I have an apartment to view today. Um, and actually, I need them to call me back. That's all I gotta do today. I did wanna do my hair. I don't think I'm gonna find my glue out. I don't wanna go buy glue in the beauty supply store that I went to. She only had like the lace clear glue that you, it stretches and it get everywhere. I hate that. Don't want that. I'm not putting that on my wig. And I also still been trying to figure out because I want my niece to do me some braids. I want some big ones, like big individuals. Um, but then I want to do this hairstyle with the wig that I wore for my birthday, which is what I want to do today. I kind of want like the swoop here, like the big dramatic swoop. And then like a small one here and then just the hair down, like straight to the back and then curled out. So that's how my birthday hair kind of was, um, but I didn't have the swoop. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the swoop. And then um, I do have some other hair. It's the same length though. So I feel like I shouldn't even use that yet. And I probably should sell it. I got it to sell, y'all know I sell hair. Um, I sell hair, it's in the description below. Um, and then I also have this blonde deep wave coming in the mail. Um, so anyway, one of the things that I do is before my video goes live, I just rewatch it to make sure that I don't need to take something out or add something or whatever. Um, even though I already did it, just when I'm in a different headspace, I like to go over and make sure again. So that's what I'm about to do first. I forgot about this. I should have did a transition right here. But I'm not about to go back just for a transition. So we'll see. I'm going to take note of it. And if I have to go back and redo this for some reason, I'm going to go ahead and add my other transition. I also need to utilize this time to respond back to comments and DMs and stuff like that. If need be. Um, what's it called? My emails. So let's just say you do have somewhere to be. Would you judge me? I, I probably would be judged either way. But would you judge me for looking like this worse than you would for looking like this? <laughs> Just wondering. It's so thick, y'all. It is so thick. Oh, my gosh. It's so thick. And I was thinking about starting over. I was thinking about cutting it all off. So I just got some orange juice. And I'm gonna try to do a ponytail. Because I found this brush and if I, I hope this is like the brush I had as a kid that's super hard, that used to hurt. And you'd be like, oh. I'm gonna try to use this one um, to get a ponytail. So we'll see how that works. I'll show you guys. If it works, if it doesn't work, I'll still show you. Just to get my point across also. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope this is a good brush. I got this from Dollar Tree. Tease brush. Idea for back brushing, creating volume, teasing. Penetrates hair texture. Excuse me. Penetrates hair texture for soft volume. Pick for pick ends for easy separating and parting of hair. So hope it penetrates my hair texture. I gotta go get me a um, wide tooth comb. Ooh, baby. Shit. Pain is pleasure and pressure. All 
right, so somebody from the bank just called me. I had to see what that was about, but she just wanted to see if everything was going okay and if I had any questions. So I'm trying to get to the white background so you can really see. But yeah, it's cute. Don't get me wrong, I'm cute. <laughs> I'm cute. <laughs> but, and see, I would go out like this. I've been out like this for the past couple of days, as y'all saw. So it's not like, either way it go, I could care less what anybody has to say. Um, but just after a while, I get tired of looking at myself a certain way. Damn, I'm like, should I wear this today? But um, I kind of really want a ponytail. Throughout the day, it's going to get fuzzy and my hair going to start coming out the ponytail. And I'm be looking like a little red shit, bald head. Thank the thing, thing. Okay, I don't really know how this works. The picking thing, is that how it works? Is that why people do it so many times? Because after you do it a while uh it starts to do something else i don't know y'all i'm really learning how to do different stuff with my hair this is my first time messing with my hair i usually put a relaxer in and i do a nice little slick back ponytail it'd be so pretty but i ain't had that ponytail since shit. i ain't had the ponytail since uh before keetra was born to be honest i don't know and he's about to be eight on the 28th of march so all this is new to me and I'm just now taking care of it. Normally, I would not even braid underneath. I would like not do a ponytail, not braid my hair, nothing. I would just throw a wig right on top of it. Like, it'd be a ponytail, but like all this would be all. So it'd look like I got a fat ass wig on sometimes. Sometimes you can tell because it'd be like a curly weave, curly weave, like a deep wave or something. <sighs> it's like working out. It's like one more. Hold it. But yes, I like when my hair is off my face. It's so pretty. When I was little, I used to always have to have some type of piece of something in my face. And I realized it was to kind of hide behind. Like I wasn't confident. And I don't know why. I did have like really bad acne sometimes. Um, but I always thought I was fine, like cute. And, you know, I was confident like that. But I don't know, maybe because I felt socially awkward and when people try to talk to me or something like, I don't know, I always needed something in my face, but now I just feel better like this. Like, it looks better to me. It looks, I don't know, not like this. I got to work on it. But just having hair off my face, it just looks clean, presentable. Like, people could really see what you look like and stuff, you know. Okay, again, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but <laughs> I showed y'all this. I brought the wrong one. I was supposed to get the black the all black bottle um so i put that on first and i put this on top of it i thought for sure i was gonna use this whole damn thing this is brand new this is how much i used so. all right now i brushed it back with my wavy brush from kohl's and I'm about to use this brush. This is the hard tease brush. You gotta leave some of the hair in there so it'll do what it gotta do. And I'm gonna just try to brush it ooh, all the way back. Bro, some people be rooting for me to wear my hair, like, my real hair. Don't do that to me. Because this is a huge responsibility. Ooh, my hands so tired. Mm -mm. Okay, do I bun it or do I pull it out? I'm going to pull it out. I think I'm going to do, like, a, a little braid and then pull it up if I can. If it's enough back, though. You can hear the product. I don't know. I can. I 
I don't know why I'm doing this because I ain't no part of this gonna stay. and go out this way and I don't like this edge control for edge control either by the way y'all know I got a filter on I tell y'all all the I feel like somebody should be barbecuing. Even though it's raining outside, I could still see a barbecue happening. Damn, I just messed it up. And dang! I did a really nice ponytail one day. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture. I got this shirt from Atlanta. Atlanta. From Atlanta. Um, what is it, Hatfield Airport? And I loved it so much because of the color and stuff. And I just, I like shirts like this, like relaxed t shirts. And I washed it twice. And the second time I washed it, it had holes everywhere. I'm gonna get my wear. I'm gonna get my wear on my shirt. I love this shirt. What to do? I gotta get like, hurry up, get a do rag and sit it down some, let it dry some. I don't know. I have tried, tried before, and it's like when I took it off, it kind of pulled my hair up. Anyway, so hell, I don't know what the fuck. I'm not a morning person. I can't get up and do this every morning. I try to YouTube like natural hairstyles, but they hair not like mine. I feel like nobody's hair is like mine. I don't even feel like talking. I'm so pissed off because my ring light just broke. And I've been having a problem with this piece. But I didn't really reach out to them or nothing because I'm like, it's reached the window where you can't return nothing. But when it broke, I'm like, you know what? No, this ring light costs too much money. It's not one of the little ones. It's one of the huge ones, the heavy ones, the like industrial, like it takes up a third of my kitchen. Okay. Um, so I'm like, hell no, I spend my money on this. I don't usually buy stuff like this. I make do with what I have. And so I'm kind of pissed. So I reached out to them and they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to do something because I'm not going to play with them. Amazon, the seller, I don't give a damn. Somebody's going to come up out that money or give me the piece or something. So pretty pissed about that. Um, and I was getting ready to, I don't know if I should hold on to this or throw it away. Um, it's not the ring light. It's the part that the phone um, attaches to. But yeah, I was getting ready to do my little segment on cleaning and cooking before the kids come home. I wanted the food to be done. I want to eat before I leave because I was going to take them somewhere. So I'm going to try to see if I can get through it. <laughs> i
just rushed home. Because let me tell you how good. Let me tell you how good this fucking food was. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Did I just try the damn food and leave? I think. I'm like, oh my gosh. I think I tried the spaghetti sauce. Covered up the noodles. I think I forgot to cut it off. Because I, I kept saying, I'm going to wait to the last minute. I'm going to wait to the last minute. And I'm going to turn it off. I couldn't remember turning it off. All I could remember was tasting the damn sauce. And it tastes so fucking good. I'm like, oh my gosh. I can't even remember. I got the glasses again. I meant to leave them in the car. I had to go tell the kids. Um, I had to call. Like, I can't wait in the parent pickup line. Can I please get my kids? I think I left something at home on the stove. Like, it's noodles. So, I ain't got that much time. Man... I got a chill. Oh, okay. She let her emotions get out of control, realizing she had a place at the winter disco all along. I'm about to go to Starbucks and. See if they got a grilled cheese. It's 10 24. I want to cook. I just want to go home and get straight to business. I don't even know what business is right now. I forgot about that music. I don't even know what business is right now, but whatever I choose to do, I just want to get straight to it. I don't want to be cooking, going back and forth, looking in the refrigerator like something going to pop up magically. Like, I just want to get straight to it. I'm still having an issue with my teacher. Um, we argued yesterday through an email. I did it graciously with the thank yous and please and, you know, the, I gave her the real with the mannerism. Um, anyway i noticed my grade is like slipping again like she on some real bullshit with me so i'm gonna start getting my work done early so that i can submit it to her for her to give me feedback and then i'm going to do exactly whatever she tells me to do um and hope that 
we can stop this downward slope um, and then my grade will be back where it was so we'll see I'm really feeling like discouraged I really want to just quit find a new school to go to because I really feel like they're just racist and I don't say that about nobody I think I was in school or I think I was in school but somebody was like um have you ever been discriminated against that you know like you could just tell or whatever something like that I'm like damn I don't think I have I'm like maybe I just been like I need to get my tire checked out is that my tire or this road I'm gonna stop over there before I go home but yeah I was like no nah, I ain't never been, you know, whatever. So now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't know, though. I think so, because it's so crazy. I did, like, home health, I told y'all before. So when I used to go see this lady, I used to go in the morning, and then I used to go back in the afternoon, well, the evening. So I get her out of bed, and then I come back to um, get her out the bed. Wait, I get her out the bed in the morning, then I go back to put her in the bed in the evening. So her daughter was so rude. She would be like, um, I don't know. Are you going to put her at the table? Like, yeah, I'm gonna put your mom at the table when I get her shoes on. You want her shoes on, right? You wouldn't want me putting her in a wheelchair without no shoes on, right? Because they need that grip or whatever. So she'll have an attitude like, mm, like you know. And I'm just like, why is she so nasty? Like, clearly I'm here to help. I know what I'm doing. I don't need you to tell me shit. Um, I get things done effectively in the time that you want it done. Like, whatever you told me is what I'm doing. So what's the issue? So I had seen her at Joanne Fabric and she worked there. Now, you know, I sew, I do the bonnets, I do face masks, stuff like that. Blankets, robes, stuff like that. So not right now, <laughs> but at this time I was, I was in Joanne Fabric like every day, like three times a day. Cause my orders was like coming in. So I'm like, I, I, it was her. I never said like, Hey, or nothing like that. But she was just very bland. Like at work, she didn't really have the attitude she was like daria if you were 80s 90 baby then you know who daria is <laughs> from the mtv right so she was very much so like that or like dude from uh what's that shit called uh damn i want to napoleon dynamite like what did i get you how much did i do for you like very just dry i was like well maybe she was discriminating against me i don't know i'm like i really don't think i've ever been but and and I would I would say that overall, like I I give people passes, like oh maybe they had a bad day. I don't be quick to say oh you racist. I don't be quick to throw the racist car. But I feel like these 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 my instructors, I feel like they're racist. Like she's told me like you shouldn't take this class. She's tried to discourage me from taking the class and I just screenshot it again and sent it to my mom last night because she was like I included she's like first of all if you want to talk to a third party and have them help us resolve it it wouldn't be the dean it would be somebody chair program chair I think and I'm like well it don't matter who it is I didn't ask you you know what I'm saying but she was like and I've already included her in the message here uh, or something like that I'm like I already talked to her and just talking to you and her alone is not gonna cut it for me but thank you very much and I'll reach out to who I feel like I need to reach out to. That has nothing to do with the class and what I asked you of the class. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was just very, very long. But I, I was showing my mom the correlation. Like, she gonna tell me she included <laughs> Clearly, I got a problem with <laughs> too. Or <laughs> had a problem with me. She's not somebody that can solve our problem. And it's so crazy because when these women be on the phone, they be so gracious. So you know so gracious but when when they talking to me through email it's like who the fuck is this and now i know how talks because i've had so many situations with it seems like they get so busy and the other one is responding for her because she she don't talk to me like that even through an email so i feel like it's not even her but you know we'll we'll see we'll see because I kind of feel like don't even reach out to nobody you know like I just kind of want to leave it I either want to leave it alone or I want to get an attorney because the shit don't make sense I got everything in the email and I don't like all that drama shit. do you have the crispy grilled cheese right now the crispy grilled cheese let me go double check hot water 
water? Yeah. Okay, I just saw her put so many pumps of sugar-free vanilla and when you put too much, it tastes like a chemical or something. Okay, it was an iced matcha latte. Um, I hate when they give it to me like that because it be like... I taste almond milk and then I taste matcha. I don't want that. I want like a consistency of matcha. And so now if I be like, you know, can you make sure you blend it out all the way? I'm going to call and ask them, do they blend it? Um, Like, how do they mix it? But um, when I find out, I'm going to be like, can you um, can you do me an iced matcha latte, sugar-free vanilla with almond milk? Can you make sure it's blended all the way out? Like, they going to start to be like, what? What do you mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? I hate having to like modify my shit and some people give it to you like that and some people don't so I mean not everybody's doing that it's just and they should be consistent across the board as well I know it looks pretty but it's just not consistent like I want to taste a matcha drink not some almond some matcha I'm so excited to go home and do stuff but <laughs> I hope when I get there I keep the momentum update I was not consistent with using the apple cider vinegar on my face but it did work so I only used it that one day but anyway um I think I recorded it I only used it that one day so anyway my face is looking super better like the dark spots they're going away however my face is breaking out I have like a bump here a bump here a bump here it's literally like boop 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 so um, I can clear that up though. I'm just worried like is it gonna leave a scar behind because then I'm gonna have to use more apple cider vinegar and then I'm gonna have more bumps and then it's just gonna be a, a cycle like you know and the reason why it burned oh I did use it one time after that because I was I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why it burned so much I don't think I recorded I can't remember it burned so much though and it's because I washed the shit out of my face like you have to wash gently don't um, overdo it because whatever irritation you build from washing your face when you put the apple cider vinegar on there it's gonna be like shit you know how in the movies when somebody gets shot and they be like he got some alcohol and they be like ah! i ain't even get my straw it tastes better with the straw <laughs> i'm talking about what time is it looking at my gas hand i mean how much gas i got shit but what time is it okay it's 10 45 45 i have to hang the pictures in the living room because they kind of in my way from me finishing what i wanted to do but i can't find my hammer i'm gonna have to clean my kitchen up again i need to get in my pantry and Keytro cleaned it and he did a really good job but he fucked it up too though but um i need to get in there and rearrange because i kind of want to take everything out of there and figure out how to fit it in my cabinets and use that area for the dog instead the dog house cleaning like all my all my uh stockpile i'll, sh I'll show y'all when i get home but i have like huge boxes of paper towels tissue um and then i have a bunch of like body wash um bars of soap um i mean like cleaning supplies so many so much and it fits okay where it's at, but I don't like going in there and like it's also my clothes and stuff in there too. So like all my clothes and my shoes is in there, but then on this one wall it's all my cleaning stuff. And it's like, I don't know, it's too much shit. It's too much, it's too much. I can't really just walk through and get what I want. And then when I do walk through, shit's falling. So with the dog, um, she has a cage. She has a metal cage. She knows how to get out of it. When we put her in it, I'm like, how the hell does she keep getting out? She um, unlatches it with her nose. So she just goes like that and gets out. So we'll put like one side on the door because one side is harder than the other. She, she figured it out. So now she's pushing the cage away from the wall and then unlatching it. So I bought this like material type of thing. Like uh, the material is almost like a raincoat. And then it has some screens on it. Um, Keytrail cut the screen. So now she, we put her in, she hop right out. And I'm like, how the fuck does she keep getting out? I'm thinking the kids keep like making it easy for her to get out so she could kind of sneak out. 
and then I'll be doing something and not notice or whatever. But no, so Keytrail cut it and she's hopping out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to be out the bottom of a closet somewhere or the, I'm like the pantry. We don't really need the pantry. We do, we do. Oh, my stomach hurt. Girl, did you give me regular milk? Cause I only tasted it. I only tasted it. My stomach hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She don't have no label on here. Okay, well it don't really hurt that. That should be so instant. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm lactose intolerant or nothing like that, but milk, it do be, uh, sometimes it be harsh on my stomach. But now since I don't even deal with like cow's milk, when I have it, it instantly be like, what the fuck like it's me instantly so i wonder like you know how the cost of living is going up and so pay rate pay well, uh, people's pay rate is going up so what do they do for disabled people do theirs go up because i mean i know when i work and i take care of people they always go to dollar tree they love dollar tree but now even dollar tree is a little bit more expensive so if somebody's on a fixed income and they're like you know, they got their budget that's been the same for 10 years or whatever. What do you expect them to do? Do they get a raise too? I'm curious. The thoughts that go through my mind. I be taking some of this stuff out too. And I know that's the stuff that people be wanting to see like. <laughs> Shout to swing my way. Show look good to me. Now would you please swing my way. I just saw FedEx and I'm waiting on the package. Alright, so this is a non-cooking night. Uh, they got it wrong. The whole thing was supposed to be pepperoni. It clearly says whole pizza pepperoni. Half pizza jalapenos. So I already started to distribute the wings, but these are the wings. I think they got the best wings around, period. Okay, so I totally like forgot to vlog anything. Um Petrel is about to plant our newest, our latest. Um plant i think we're gonna name her ibiza i don't know where i got that from i just looked at her she looked like an ibiza anyway go ahead pull her out stick her into the bucket carefully Ew, look at her roof. they're so big yeah that looks really good they're juicy too because like you got to get her get the dirt around her she got to get grounded in there yeah, so you might have to do this because it'll move the dirt from around. See, that looks good. Tropical full again, I knew it. No, I'm just kidding. Tropical foliage. 